where I'll be at a disadvantage. You watch a bunch of streams of stuff and people make it look easy until you're actually doing it. You realize, oh, they're playing this version of the game, but they already know how to speed run the regular version of the game and know all the best strats and everything. I do not. I have watched a lot of very good strats. Doesn't mean I can do them. So now that I'm done needing bonuses, I should probably go clean up some of these S ranks since it's probably the most reachable next achievement for me. I don't know if this goes through or not. Pull up the achievement list. So yeah, that was what I just got there, was bonus demigod. No stages on this. Probably gonna do a campaign run of this again soon. I only did one playthrough on this version because I really wanted to get to raid mode. I need to do an infernal playthrough of the campaign. Um, and there's a lot of cleanup achievements I need to do. I need to defeat ten oozes with headshots. I only did nine apparently in my first run. Enemy types, there's I'm at eighty two percent. I know for sure I missed the thing you gotta kill with the rocket launcher outside. Uh, find all the hidden handprints. I did that blind. I found exactly 15 of the 30 on my own without using a guide or anything. Totally had no clue where those were anymore, but kind of a couple spots stuck out to me to where I knew they would be there. Uh, clear the game in normal difficulty without dying. It's actually really mad I managed to die on normal. Defeat Rachel before she gets to the cafeteria. Uh, three enemies with one shot grenade. I was surprised I didn't get that one. Playing the water level. Defeat the Malakota. That is the big enemy outside I'm talking about. Uh, I didn't scan him, but I gotta beat him without using a rocket launcher also. I need to obtain a level 50 special weapon. Don't recall that being... that's a raid mode achievement. Don't recall that being one the first time around. Do you need to give me a partner for landing a fully charged physical attack on an enemy at the same time? It's the only co-op required achievement in this one. Though running ghost ship is probably preferred with a partner. Should be cleaning up S ranks on this stuff. Really want parts like the auto loader and all that fun crap. So, just the other day, I barely beat Mad Banquet on Abyss finally. Almost feel like I should try to get good at this one to S rank it. I don't know what the breaking point was on the 360 version. Of At some point, I had all the weapons and everything I needed to do it. I don't recall. I know at some point I played co-op with somebody who was way higher level than me. And I thought all that did was give me a ghost ship clear. Didn't even farm for weapons for very long in that one. 
he may have also helped me S rank the damn banquet too. Which kind of stinks. I just want to be good enough to do that on my own. Another problem too is now I already don't remember again what types of enemies are on these levels. Probably give the lady hunk a test ride. Those magnum stats are amazing. Boob and zombie boob. My lady hunk just doesn't wear pants, is beyond me. That's the only way you can tell. She makes really ditzy noises. whether I should put a piercing or a crit 5 on there or a burst 2 mm. trying to think is this weapon will be my bread and butter for this time around here don't need beast damage for Mad Banquet. Throw an auto shot on there. I guess I kind of dig that setup. Another ba mad banquet run. Gained a ton of money playing those for uh, bonuses there. Especially once I started getting a bonus on the tougher difficulties. A lot of those I had enough retries that I was picking up weapons and selling for. It seems like over the course of an hour I went from 200 to 550,000 BP and I wasn't even farming it. Because in the farm you get like 120,000 per run, which is only a few minutes. I can actually do one of those really quick, especially now that I have Lady Hunk. The BP farm gets crazy quick. I'm going to do one really quick, just because I'm being indecisive again about what I want to do. I'll throw Medal of Courage in there, ignores my level adjustment. And we're going to throw BP boost on both of these enemy, or er, weapons. So for the BP farm here, you actually go back to Crew Quarters, Area 1. Yeah, 
and you take your level way, 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 way down. I'm gonna do 17 because I know that's good. Recommend level 32 so you just get a huge boost to everything based on that. One thing I almost forgot. Got to get rid of the AUG. Because we want a lightweight weapon. Which I already have set up for this. Want the lightweight one. Just because you run through everything better and it's got the auto fire on it so that I can get basically this BP metal as fast as possible. But it's got super quick runs. Love those magnum strats. Probably speed run it without even switching back. So you'll notice I'm kind of fixated on BP medals in this game, just because it's something else to find in a level, and I hate not knowing where they are. Get that guy to explode himself. You run around here. If you were to make a right right there, you'd have to get past that guy, of course. But that's the way to the gold BP metal. The silver one's going to be right inside this door to our right, sitting here on the ledge. Let me throw that decoy out here, and the, that thing is distracted by it, even though it doesn't show it. Get a magnum payout. That's cool. Allows you to run right around him. Throw that, and that guy's. Wow. Not used to this awesome firing speed on the magnum. That's huge. Just the amount of everything on that is awesome. I might even dip down to 16 or 15 now that I can shoot that fast. It was not scary. With no pants on. Now 137,000 BP in one run. always fun. This is always something great to do as well when you have no idea what you want to do but you just want to work on something at the game. For the most part you're always going to need more BP. Why not do this? Say I went from 550 to 690 just like that. Replenishing consumables is only 15,000. Keep checking, because at some point I may need a second 24 per... By these super weapons here. They got all these high-powered custom parts on them. <coughs> some of them are really good. I keep looking at getting a second <clears throat> plus 24% humanoid damage boost don't necessarily need it, but I only have one, so if I ever decide to have that loadout just for humanoids, I'm going to need it. But I think, ultimately, if I'm optimized correctly, I wouldn't need it anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> 